Construction on Hawaii State Hospital's new patient facility in Kaneohe is complete. It boasts the latest security options designed to house high-risk patients while at the same time providing a healing environment. Here's Jen Benizu, who got a first-hand look inside. The state-of-the-art facility is a far cry from the current facility that was built back in the 1950s. But even with all of the bells and whistles, officials admit that nothing is foolproof. The new psychiatric facility can hold up to 144 patients. The price tag? More than $160 million. And it was built in under three years. It boasts everything from multiple secure outdoor areas for patients with spectacular views of the Ko'olaus, comfortable private rooms, a gym, and even an on-site courtroom. And the detail to security and patient safety is just as impressive. Staff can view down every patient corridor from a secured area, and cameras are everywhere. There's no blind corners here. We know where patients are at at all times. There's also only one way in and out for patients. Now, this is the patient's entrance, and they would be driven up by staff. The gate would be open, and then they would be checked in in this area before entering the hospital. There are separate entrances for both the patients to be admitted as well as visitors to the facility. It allows us to manage and keep track of who's coming and going a lot better than, than we have been in, in the past. Four years ago, patient Randall Saito notoriously escaped from the older facility. Saito had been there for more than 37 years, acquitted by reason of insanity for the 1979 murder of Sandra Yamashiro. Saito used a fake ID to catch a flight to Maui, then California. He was arrested days later and is serving five years in prison for the escape and identity theft. Can you guys assure that what happened with Saito won't happen again? We can never make 100% assurance of that. At the end of the day, this is a hospital. It's not a jail. But we need to have appropriate facilities to make sure we can ensure that people are safe and that the community feels safe. So you can't guarantee anything, but having a modern facility that's safe and, and up to date is really important. I'm told that patients will gradually be phased into the facility and that it should be fully operational around August. Reporting from the Hawaii State Hospital, Jen Boniza, K2N2 News, working for Hawaii.